Right, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to have a look around a few different things uh, of stuff that I've used over the years uh, to help with students doing e-learning. Big thing with anything on the internet is obviously e-safety, uh, cyberbullying and all that sort of stuff, trolling. We know that is a big issue. We hear about it all the flipping time. Uh, and depending on what generation you're in and how sort of into computers you are, regardless of age, um, you know, you may or may not know about these sorts of things. Today, uh, I am going to be very naughty. I'm going to do what Ofsted says not to do. I'm going to teach to the middle because um, I appreciate some of you are proper computer nerds. Uh, some of you are full fledged technophobes. Um, so I am going to teach to the middle. So for some of the, you, this is going to be insultingly slow. Some of you, this is going to be like how what what even just happened there. So you can watch it at home, pause it, replay it, do whatever you like. OK. So. Safety. Um, in terms of e-safety, I do have to point out that obviously GoToWebinar and the school's email um, are already approved tools. OK, so they've already got a lot of safeguarding stuff automatically built in. For, so from a professional sort of protecting yourself point of view, um, I'm obliged to say that that is the space where we should be starting. OK, you should be getting comfortable with those two things. Um, Again, I'd like to think I don't have to say this, but I will say it. Um, there should be no conversation between you, a student or a parent through any social media platforms. OK, whether that be WhatsApp, Zoom. Uh, apparently there's a thing called House Party at the minute. My sister downloaded it and then apparently it was getting hacked. So she undownloaded it. So House Party, uh, Facebook Messenger, any of that sort of stuff. We should not be engaging with parents, students through those means. If you are on Facebook and you have not recently checked your security settings, your privacy settings, I would strongly advise that you do so. Uh, the way that you do that, if you go to your profile, there we go. So we've got this little arrow at the top, right? Um, there's a few different ways you can get it. Um, through there does one thing. Uh, through here, you can get to it. Settings. And then on settings, you can get to privacy. And just double check who can actually see you. Um, what you, ooh, who can send me friend requests? Everyone, oof, don't think so. Um, I'll have to change that. But here we go. This is just, you change it. What you can do through this, uh, this limit last post, delete everything you have ever sort of um, been associated with. So if you made a post on some sort of Nazi favoring website by accident and you want that deleted, uh, limit past posts and that will sort of remove some of your old posts there. Uh, so that's just a quick Facebook hiding options. Uh, so privacy on different accounts is very important. Me and Sam had a friend who uh, he had a Twitter account and he said that he'd done a fart that sounded like Chewbacca. Um, the kids found it. The kids found it uh, and kept making Chewbacca noises at him, which was absolutely hilarious for us, uh, but for him, not so much. So do be careful there. Um, Online discussions with parents, uh, so online discussions with parents or students, whether it be um, through the school website, uh, through Edmodo, if you're going to use Edmodo, through whatever platform you are using, um, just be a bit careful online. Uh, again, I, I don't really have to tell most of you this, but you never know. Um, great example of this, I was doing some academic mentoring with the six formers. We were talking about e-safety then, and I actually found one of her old accounts on Facebook from about three years ago. I found a post of her saying uh, something to do with karma being a and that if you didn't back get slapped by karma, I would do it. Yeah, so uh, that student was absolutely devastated that I could still see uh, her Facebook, uh, her Twitter post from absolutely years ago. So uh, that's that Facebook going back and actually looking and, and deleting previous posts, that, that it's a good idea to check out because you never know. Uh, my big advice to the sixth form is, is always don't put anything on the internet or or on, on your phones for that case. Don't put anything on your phones or internet that you've been embarrassed to show your grandma. Um, obviously, we're in a slightly different audience now, so I'll say don't be uh, don't put anything on the internet that you'd be embarrassed for your mother-in-law to see or your kids, or the boss. Okay, so do just be a bit careful online. Do protect yourselves uh, and just be careful.